Okay, in this video, I'm going to begin a series of tutorial videos on quantum statistics. So this is a topic which many people find difficult, and I certainly found difficult as well. However, it's also a topic which I feel can be understood very quickly if it's said in the right way. And hopefully, I'm going to be able to say it in the right way. So what I'm going to begin with is to describe something called macro boxes and micro boxes, or macro states and micro states. So, well, first of all, we'll we'll discuss the topic of states as we go along, and hopefully you'll get a feel of what it is. So let's say, for example, we have capital N total states, or total particles, excuse me, total particles. Okay, you can think of that as anything. You can think of capital N as we have capital N people, we have capital N footballs, or whatever it is you want to think of. Now let's say we split up, we split N up into S macrostates. With N sub S particles in each. So what does this mean? Well, we're going to split n up into s states. A state is is a is a place for something to be, or um, it is you know it could be a property of a body. For example, you could say an electron is spin up. So one of the states for an electron spin is up. One of the states for an electron spin is down. So for example, if it was an electron, you might say well let n is equal to we'll say there might be um, we'll say up and down. We'll say up and down. There might be 10 up plus 10 down. There are the states. So we have 10 in the first, so this would be s is equal to 1, this would be s is equal to 2. So 10 in the first state, which is up, 10 in the second state, which is down. Okay, so n sub 1 would be equal to 10, and actually, let me rewrite this here. Let's just rewrite it all together. Let's say that there are 10 in the up state, plus there were 5 in the down state. Okay, so capital N is equal to 15. Okay, the first state is, is, the first state is up, the second state is down. We have the number of particles in state 1, n sub 1 is equal to 10, and the number of particles in state 2, n sub 2, is equal to 5. So, in general we say that the number of particles in state S is n sub S. Okay, so you should be getting used. You should get used to the placeholder s. We'll be using it all the time. All right. So going back to what we set up here, we have we split n up into s macro states with n sub s particles in each state. All right. So that should tell you that the way to write this mathematically is as follows: that capital N is the sum over s of n sub s is equal to n1 plus n2 plus the whole way up to n sub s. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward. So uh, I'm going to move on from there. So let's think of putting put n people into s houses with n sub s people in each house. That's another way of looking at it, okay? Analogies I think are a good way of learning. So that means well we have we have s states say four. So we have four states. Okay? Now, we call these macro states. And I'm going to explain why in a moment. But let's say for the moment we have macro states. So let's split this up. So just push this up a small bit. Okay, we have n people into s houses. We said this time there are four states. So s is equal to four. Right? And we split it up as follows. Let's say. Let's say n is equal to 100, 
and n1 is equal to 25, n2 is equal to 40, n3 is equal to 20, and n4 is equal to say 15. Okay, so here this is microstate 1, or oh, this is a macrostate, excuse me, that's macrostate 1, macrostate 2, macrostate 3, macro 4. And in general, we talk about macrostate S. Alright? Now, why do we call them? macrostates. Well they are called macrostates because we do not describe the state of each person in each house. So we've been a bit ambiguous or we've been as ambiguous as possible and still describe, still fully describing the state. So this is called a macrostate corresponding to n people in s in s states. Now like I said macro. Macro means it's the most general way you can fully describe a system. So you'd say, well, what's the difference then? How can I more describe this? Well, you could say that each person, you could say that, you know, um, that there are people in rooms. You could say, well, they're further broken down. There are pe people in houses, and then some of those people are in the rooms. And then if you wanted to further break it down, you could say, well, who is in what chair? Okay, so each time you break, you will say you, dis you have more descriptions. You go from macro to micro. So I'm going to now show you us going from macro to micro. So macro state is where you, you describe it in the most general way. But, but before I move on and show you the micro state for this, I'm going to give you another example of a macro state. Let's say, for, let's say that you had, um, let's say you had a coin. Or let's say you had three coins. We'll say three coins, you know, let's say one, two, and three. And then you start flipping the coin, so you might get heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, you might get heads, 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 tails, tails, tails. Now, you might get, or you get whatever, whatever many number. But if you look, a good way of describing this, like instead of saying, if you describe that um, coin 1 is heads, coin 2 is tails, coin 3 is, H, is heads, that would be a microstate. You have described, or you've depicted every particle. However, if you say this is two heads, this is one head, this is three heads, this is zero heads. They are the four macro states. There are no other macro states. Every other combination of these will give you one of these macro states. So there may be um, there may be eight micro states, or excuse me, eight micro states. But there, in this case, there are only four macro states. All right. So, but I'm going to move on from there. So you have to think about how you're going to how you're going to come up with the macro state for your system. <coughs> so. Now let's say that in each house there could be rooms for each group of people, each group of n sub s people that went into each of the s houses. All right. These um, these are inside the macro box or the uh, the macro state, so we call them micro states or micro boxes, and we we use the same subscript, namely s. So we'll say g sub s. So G is a microstate. Microstate s. Now the thing you need to remember here is that every one of the n sub s particles has a G sub s microstate. Every single one of them. So that means as follows. So let's say we have two rooms in house 1. We have 5 in house Two, we have three rooms in house three, and we have ten rooms in house four. It's supposed to be a one, believe it or not. Okay, so this is S is equal to one, that's state two, that's state three, that's state four. N sub one is equal to 1, or oh, sorry, excuse me, is equal to 25, what am I doing? n sub 2 is equal to 40, n sub 3 is equal to 20, n sub 
4 is equal to 15. This is the number of people we put into each one of those houses. So we call that the macro state. And then finally, in each one of those houses, we might have G1 is equal to 2, G2 is equal to 5, G3 is equal to 3, and G4 is equal to 10. So this is, this is macro, this is micro. Alright, so I hope that's, um, that's starting to give you a bit of intuition into how we're going to set this up. So I'm just going to, for the remainder of this video, write, it, write the same thing in different ways and hopefully one of those will trigger something in your brain and you'll actually have a bit of understanding. I apologize for the bits of dust on my board, but anyway. So just, just to, to write that in a new way, let's say we have macro. We have the macro state, we have the number of particles, and we have the degeneracy. Think about electron orbitals. You might say, well, that each of the shells might be a macro state, and each of the subshells might be a micro state. That's, a, that's another way of looking at it. So we might have 1, 2, 3, 4, the whole way down to S. There might be N1 particles in this, there are, excuse me, N2 in that, N3 in that, N4 in that, the whole way down to N sub S. There are G1 particles in this, G2 particles in that, G3 particles in that, G4 particles in that, the whole way down to G sub S. Okay, so that's one way of looking at it. And let's go again. Let's say we have our capital N, so this is the total number of particles. Let's say N1, for argument's sake, let's say that seven particles are in state 1. Let's say that there are four particles in state 200. And let's say that there are, well, there are N sub S particles in state N sub S. Like that. Okay, so let's look at G1, the degeneracy, or the number of microstates in in macro state number one. Let's say that G1 is equal to 2. And let's say that there, there, there are the two microstates. So we have this is microstate number 2, this is microstate number 1. And then that macrostate number 200, let's say that there is a degeneracy of 6. So the number of microstates corresponding to macrostate number 4 is 6. So here are they here, here they are. Here are each of the microstates like that. Okay, and let's look at the degeneracy of, of macrostate N sub, or macrostate S, which has N sub S particles inside it. Well, then it's going to have a degeneracy or a number of microstates of G sub S. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, the whole way down to S. All right, like that. Okay. Uh, one final way of looking at this, if you just want to, let's say, take take this one here as an example. Okay, you can imagine it as follows. I'm going to get rid of my G sub S. Let's say, looking back at macro state number 200, well, that's a, it's a macro box. So this is state 200. All right, or macro 200, whatever you want to call it. And into that we put we put four particles. We put four particles into that because we know four particles go into it. And we know that inside that there are six spaces. There are six ways you can further place these particles. There five. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be the big box. Actually, I'm going to put the big box in blue. The big box is our macro state. The green boxes are our micro states. And of course, well, this is only macro state 200, so there are loads of macro states beside it. There might be, this might be, this might be macro, this would be, excuse me, macro 201. This is macro 200 or 199. That's macro 199. I'm going to get rid of it. It's starting to get a bit messy. There might be a degeneracy of only two in macro state 201. There might be a degeneracy of one in macro state 199. 
So this would be G sub 199 is equal to 1, G sub 201 is equal to 2. Okay, you might want to put a certain number of particles in each one. You might put N sub 201 is equal to 6. We want to put 6 particles in those two spaces. And here we want to put N sub 199 is equal to 1. We only want to put one particle into this. And here, as we saw, we had N sub 200 is equal to 4. I think that's what it was anyway. Alright, so I hope those lots of different ways of writing that give you a feel as to what a macro state versus a micro state is. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and if you feel if you feel like it, please also click an ad. Thank you. Goodbye.